Hey guys, um, so I'm still editing the video on the airline operations part two. So this bit here is just a sneak peek of what you can expect. It will be much longer. It's about 15 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. But these are the sort of things I'm going to be talking about as shown in this clip later. Hey guys, uh, this is your friendly Captain Orbit again. This is part two of my series on uh, airline operations that I've been talking about. You probably watched part one that I did when I was on the ground in uh, uh, Taipei, I think it was. So in part two, I'm going to talk about certain things like uh, expectations and uh, age and what's expected of you and what you can expect when you join an airline. When you graduate at the flying college, what are you expecting? I've got Brett here that I've just flown with. He's just joined us, as I said to you before, from the 777. Brett. What were your expectations when you joined uh, an airline? When you, what were you expecting when you joined an airline? Uh, I came, my background after I finished flight college, I flew for a small charter outfit, small, flying small eight passenger planes doing cargo runs and um, charters, and then moved up. And then when I came to an airline, I guess, at first I was expecting to have to put in a lot of work because there's a lot to learn to fly a big wide body jet. It's uh, quite different from a small aircraft. But uh, also with the airlines, you get very high quality training from very experienced pilots that have been doing the job for many, many years. When you joined an airline, what were you expecting to get out of an airline? Well, I was expecting to have a, a stable career by yeah. joining Cathay Pacific and be able to fulfill my childhood ambition of uh, becoming an airline pilot and being able to fly to uh, the, um, the numerous cities around the world in Cathay's network. Hi, yeah, we're, so we're outside here. We've just landed in Penang, Boeing 747 400. Um, and I want to talk about the glamour of flying. I'm in the main deck cabin of the 747 400, and uh, they're doing some offloading behind me there. I get a number of you asking me whether it's okay to go into flying when you're 35 or 40. Now, I've said it before, about two years ago, I did a short clip on age. And um, what I'll say is the retirement age for most companies is now 65 years old. And in some companies, there isn't one in some countries. So long as you're medically fit you, and physically fit, you can continue to fly. That's my advice to you. So go for it later.